Hey everybody, this is Dan for Gaming D on Cars. Now, what we have in front of us is a 2020 BMW M760. This car has a 6.6 .6 liter twin turbo V12. And in this video, we're gonna go for a drive. So here we go. This will be the first V12 I have ever driven. So let's start her up. All right, here we go. All right, so I finally cooled off because it is about 90 degrees here in Mechanicsburg. So I am at Porsche Mechanicsburg here on the Carlisle Pike in Central PA. And that guy was really looking at me. This is the first V12 I've ever driven. So it's a 6.6 .6 liter twin turbo V12 with 600 horsepower and 627 foot-pounds of torque. This car will go zero to 60 in 3.6 seconds. So I drove a six cylinder BMW 740 last year and that car was was fine it was perfectly fine i just think there might be better options but this car with a v12 um is sort of taking it up uh, a few notches so i'm fully expecting this to be fantastic to drive but it just feels very 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 smooth and comfortable and these windows are so tinted so i can't see anything from the side which is fantastic i mean it, it's great um so I'm interested to see once we get on sort of full throttle if it feels any different because I'm I'm sort of used to driving cars with V8s and six cylinders, but just to feel the the boat-like thrust of a V12 from this big German sedan uh, is going to be something special. Now, this car it was brand new; it was about hundred and ninety thousand dollars, and it is on sale right now for about a hundred nineteen. So here we go. I must admit the sound is is nothing special, but the, it's it's different. It just sounds a little bit different and and deeper and throatier than like a V8 because obviously we have four more cylinders, obviously. But this is just so smooth. I really feel I really feel like you're driving on a cloud. The damping and suspension just feels so buttery smooth. I mean, and of course it does because German engineered cars like this. Are, you know have been designed to be this way now you might think a twin turbo v12 with only 600 horsepower but I mean this is not a performance car this is a, a ultra luxury uh, German sedan I mean when you think of a twin turbo v12 you think of like a Pagani Waira you know with like 730 horsepower but this car is completely different I mean those uh, it makes me I, I can't even imagine driving a small two-seat car with you know v12 power but really there are not there are not many cars around anymore that are even offering v12 engines i mean there's your front engine ferraris um there's this there's the bmw s65 i mean there are not that many left i mean lamborghini v12s uh, aventador but there's only a handful of cars that have 12 cylinder power anymore and i really hope i really hope they don't go away i know we're i know we're going to towards electrified cars and smaller forced induction engines but this is a monster engine with forced induction so i hope cars like this um are always around and the price is going to be more and more attainable as <laughs> as the years go on i mean bmw uh, 7 series and mercedes s class really take a big hit in depreciation i mean one year this car has gone down seventy thousand dollars that is insane and this is the this is the cheapest m760 in the united states by about fifteen thousand dollars so there's not a huge market for cars like this um and you really don't know that it is the v12 unless you really see the badge on the front and this this car does not even have the v12 badges on the side of the car there is one on the console i'll show you when we do the pov drive but just driving for a few miles it is so smooth and, and all the stuff in the back that i showed in my other video this car would be the most comfortable car to take a long road trip in Ab absolutely unless you're in like a GLS Maybach or an S, S series Maybach, you know, from Mercedes. I mean, this is the most expensive BMW there has ever been, you know, which is, which is really saying something with such a storied uh, car brand from Germany. So the comfort uh, is definitely here. This is an unbelievably comfortable and compliant and smooth ride. So, all right, let's go on some back roads. Yeah. 
I mean, having this be, you know, obviously I said it's not a performance car, so the sound the sound feels a little bit muffled, but there is some that comes through, and I don't I don't care if it's manufactured sound or what. I, I don't I don't care. If it sounds good to my ear, it sounds good. And this this sounds pretty good. And that was only like I want to say 3,000 RPMs. It, it just feels it feels like a big, heavy executive car, and that's exactly what it is. But it's nice to just have those extra four cylinders compared to a V8. Okay, we're gonna almost by we're almost past the bumps. Okay, now here we go. Just to push it a little. Now I know that this car weighs like 5,000 pounds, but it does not. It doesn't feel like it through the turns. I mean, the, the power band is just so big. And I mean, Redline is only 6,000 RPM, which is not that high. You know, for a BMW. Here we go. Oh. Woo! Ooh -hoo. Okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> it, it can. It'll run. This car will. Well, you can definitely have the performance there. I mean, this car goes zero to sixty in three point six seconds. And we're gonna sort of try that out up here real quick. All right. V twelve power in three, two, one. Okay. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh, wow. It feels like you're driving like a, a freight train you know, with all the torque. I mean, there is 627 foot pounds of torque and that, I think I felt about 625 of them. Wow. It just is, it's effortless speed. I mean, you could, you could bang on this. I mean, that gave, that just gave me a gut punch in the stomach like any other fast car that I've driven. It's just, there's so much available power okay one more a little street a little roll oh my goodness i'm watching like the g meter just go completely crazy and that really pulls it really pushes you back in your seat but v12 power baby all right now this is what it looks like in the m760 oh hi jared how you doing Let's, let's see what we can do here. All right, I don't see anybody ahead, so I'm gonna wait till we go past this uh, one road. No, 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 no. This person ruined my fun. Okay. Yep, we're gonna try that again. Okay, I turned around so I can get my own little private runway here. So hopefully nobody's coming from the left right here and we are gonna drop the hammer on the V12 power. All right, here we go. Let's get straight. Oh, yes! Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. Oh, she's fast. She is a big, fast girl with that V12 power. Yeah, I mean, this is legit. It is It is so fast. This, this might be like the fastest BMW I've ever driven. Here we go. And see, it doesn't even drop, it doesn't even drop a gear because like there's so much available torque. So if we go into sport mode here, All right, I'm in sport mode. So ready? It just it just pulls like a freight train. I mean, that is just insane. One more little stat, ready? Oh yeah. <laughs> I mean, come on. That is awesome. So in sport mode, everything tightens up, you know, like I said in many other cars, but it just feels it feels so solid and I mean this is the car that I've driven that just it feels like it is not breaking a sweat for anything I mean you could you could rip on this bad boy all day and it would not break a sweat I mean that is just this is just a fantastic car it just I've driven two cars in the last two weeks that are like polar opposites in the 911 and the M760 but now I can finally say I have driven a V12 German saloon all right guys i am back to the dealer in this car now this is a quick drive of a 2020 bmw m760 and this car has a lot going for it in the fact that it is 600 horsepower twin turbo v12 and it is probably the most comfortable and most technology laden as far as you know creature comforts and there's actually a a perfume ionizer that can spray out a gentle 
missed for you in your 760. So this is an, a fantastic car. And like I said before, this is the cheapest M760 in the United States of America by $15,000. So $120,000 is a lot of money, sure. But that is a far cry from the 190 that it was when it was brand new. Um, I can, I've crossed two things off my bucket list in the last two weeks at this dealer. Uh, I drove a 911 last week and now I've finally driven a V12 motored car. So you can buy this car if you're watching this video from Porsche Mechanicsburg. I will put their link right here and in the description below. Um, big thank you to Porsche Mechanicsburg for access to this car again. I guess they like me. They let me come back for two weeks in a row. Um, but don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Let me know what you think about the M760. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at GammyD on Cars, at where you can see the cars that I review before they get posted to YouTube. Now, I'm going to try something crazy now after I am done with this video, so stay tuned. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.